To register for your courses at Durham Tech, we use a system called self-service. To access self-service, start at the Durham Tech homepage at www.durhamtech.edu. From the homepage, you will take the pointer and click on the link at the top of the screen that says Current Students. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the self-service link on the right side of the page. This will bring you to the login screen. Enter in your Durham Tech username and the password you created when you activated your account in WebAdvisor. Then, click Sign In. When you enter into this portal, you will see boxes similar to this on the screen. To search and register for classes, click on the Student Planning link. On the next page, click on the Go to Plan and Schedule link in the box number 2 on the right side of the screen. This will take you to your empty schedule. Next, you will search for the classes you need and add them to your schedule. Click in the search box located at the upper right side of the page and type the course prefix and the number of the class you want to register for and press enter. In this instance, it is Chem 094. On the next screen, you will find Chem 94 listed at the top of the page. Click on the button that says Add Course to Plan. This will bring up a dialog box that will display information about the course. Find the drop-down box and select the term you would like to add the course to. In this example, we are adding it to the summer semester. When it has successfully been added to your schedule, you will see a green box at the top right side of the screen confirming the course has been added. Repeat this process for each class you would like to add to your schedule. When you are through adding courses, go up to the student planning link on the upper left side of the page. Find the third link down that says plan and schedule and click on it. This will take you to your plan schedule. In this section, you will find the courses you added in the frame on the left and a weekly schedule laid out with days of the week at the top and times of the day on the left. Start with the first class you added and click on the link that says view other sections. This will expand a menu where you will find different sections of the same class that will vary by day and time offered. Select a class section that fits with your schedule and click on it in the frame on the left. This will bring up a dialog box showing information about the course. Click on the button that says Add Section. This adds the class to your schedule, but you are not registered yet. This is useful because if you are registering for multiple classes, you may have to move classes around to fit your schedule. Go to any other classes you have to schedule in the frame on the left and select the section you want for that course. In this case, this section of SOC 210 was an online course. Since it is online, it has no meeting time and is listed at the bottom of your schedule. When you have your classes planned, they will show on your schedule as yellow. You will find a button that says register under each class in the frame on the left and you will find a button at the top right that says register now. The difference between the two is that when you click on register now, it will register you for all the courses you have planned for that semester. If you click on the register button under the course name, you will only register for that class. When you have clicked the register now button, your planned courses will change from yellow to green to indicate you have successfully registered for classes.